What's up squad, it's that guy, which guy, shy guy DY, and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we left Cerulean City, and we went up Nucket Bridge and fought some trainers, and we also added two new members to our team. Here's the quick update of our team right now, as it is. It's Charm, we just got our Charmander, so it's at level 10. Uh, we got a Bulbasaur in the last episode as well. It's uh, level 14. Venonat, we caught a Venonat uh, while looking around the grass as well, level 16. We got our Pidgeotto at level 18, still with no decent attacks. Our Nidorino is on level 22. And we've got our best buddy Pikachu, who's on level... Who's on level... Sorry, Nidorino's on level 20. Pikachu is on level 22. And it's not... It, the Final Bolt's not too far away. In this next episode... In this episode, we are going to go to Bill's house. Uh, go say hi to Bill. Check out his Pokemon collection. And uh, Pikachu is jumping for joy. And on the way, we're going to run into a shit ton of trainers. So this episode is basically just going to be me fighting people. Which... You know, it's gen it's pretty pretty general for a for an episode of Pokemon, but uh, you know, just fighting people. You know, it's good. <sighs> okay, let's go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to train. Like, like I said in the last episode, I'm not going to keep I'm not going to keep Bulbasaur for long. Uh, Charmander is is going to be on my team though, because um, you know, fire, pretty awesome. I'm gonna need that at some point. Uh, not the next gym, but the gym after that requires uh, fire types. So, you know, get it trained up now, and you know, so it's ready. Should be uh, should be around that level by the time we get there. So why not? Why not start start the training now? We're gonna be heading to the um, we're gonna be heading to the SS and soon. So there's gonna be a shit ton of trainers on that to uh to level up our Pokemon. Speaking of which, Pidgeotto is level 19 now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch back to Charmander. Charmander is gonna be the one we're training up uh now, switching out. Uh, Bulbasaur is gonna be doing a bit of that as well, but it's at the level now where it's got Vine Whip, so it will be able to take some Pokemon down. But I'm only going to be using it against, you know, rock types. Um and that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna be using it against anything else, because won't be good, but you know, it can one hit KO. Uh, it can one hit KO Geo dude, so we'll go. Um, so that's what I'll use again. And Charmander's level 11. And I'm getting, I'm gonna get plenty of money. I got a nugget in the last episode, which I intend to sell. Um, Bubble Beam, I'm gonna hang on to, because that's, I've still got that. And I should probably catch more, get more Pokeballs as well. How much money have I got now? We've got nearly 10 grand, so I've got plenty of money. Um, not really, you know, going to be... If I have to heal Pokemon, like, I'm at the stage where I can... St I'm near the stage where I can start buying super potions. So potions will pretty much become redundant. Um, only, like, only use them if I, like, in a pinch, if I need to... If I need to heal, like, a little bit, but... Other than that, it's not really any of any use. If I need to heal my Pokemon, I'll just go straight to the Pokemon Center. Um, that's pretty much yeah. Like I don't really use potions that much, except if I have to in battle. But I'm usually you know good enough to get through a battle without having to heal that much. And Charmander's level twelve, growing levels really quickly. And Bulbasaur should be getting to level fifteen soon if he keeps fighting Rock types. Uh, we fought this dude. No, we haven't. Local trainers come here to practice, and I come here to kick your asses. That's not practice. It's not practice. I just come here to beat you. I just come here to beat the shit out of you. That's that's all it is. Like, I'm um, gonna send in Nita Reno for this one with the double kick. The double kick's gonna be, you know, I'm probably gonna keep it double kick on it for a while. For for a while, probably one of the final attacks. Horn attack as well, because horn attack's a very good physical, physical move. There we go. Um, Spearow. Right, um, switch back to Bulbasaur. I mean, Charmander, sorry. And then we'll switch out to Pikachu. 
And there we go. Oh, Fury Attack. I think this is the first time I've seen this in this series. Please don't. Oh, God. It's going to be five, isn't it? No, four. Alright, this should, this should be a one-hit KO, surely. Yep, there we go. 93, 93. No, still hasn't gained a level. You're decent. Better than decent. Dad took me to a great party on the SSN of Vermillion City. That's exactly where I'm going to be going next, buddy. First thing I want to do when I get to the next city, so... There is that. Oh, Slowpoke. New Pokedex entry. Um, I'm going to switch to... Hopefully it hasn't got any psychic moves. Yeah. Spoke too soon, it's got a psychic move, so Bulbasaur is dead. Just about. Unless... Uh, and it's confused. Hopefully... I'm okay, getting nah. And... Yep. So that was a bad idea. Really, but see, this is why grass types are no grass types. That's, that's why Bulbasaur is no good because he's a grass type, but he's also because he's part poison. He's susceptible to psychic attacks, so he's he's pretty he's pretty useless. Like, and his special attack is nowhere near as good as you know as um, as Charmanders and Squirtles will be. At least Char Charmander's level 13. I'll evolve Bulbasaur to the next level. So I'll evolve him into an Ivysaur. That's in a couple levels from now. How far actually is he from level 15? He's 74 experience points from level 15. Um, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. I'm going to evolve him. I might turbo this actually. Just to get through it a bit quicker. I'm not going to do uh, abuse turbo that much. Just to... Um, just when I need to go back and heal. So, I'm not gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna try and, um, there we go. Um, just when I need to go back and heal, I'm not gonna abuse Turbo. Cause I did that, I did that in an old uh, Pokemon Red playthrough and it really didn't work. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Screw you. Hey, being single sucks. It really does. Uh, Nidoran. Alright. Um, has he got Ember yet? Yes, he has. Just, just curious. Um, I'm going to use... I'll use Pikachu. Just uh, so we can get the most damage on. With uh, Thundershock. I haven't used Slam yet. I'll try Slam. Might, might work. It's a good physical move slam. I think it I think it learns body slam, I'm not sure. It used to learn body slam. Um Might as well get the experience points for Bulbasaur in this battle while I'm at it. Cause I think there's another one of those uh rock type trainers here. But I'm not sure. Like, I think there is. And if there is, well, that's Bulbasaur can just get his experience there. No, Siri, I'm not. No. Shut up, Siri. So my Siri just likes to activate itself automatically whenever I. Whenever I say something. And it thinks I'm talking to it. And it likes to. Because Hey Siri is on. Um, so it likes to. It likes to think, oh no, how can I help you? And it turns on and all that sort of thing. The phone's locked. But it like Siri just likes to pop in every now and then when I th when he when she thinks I'm talking to it. I'm in a slump. I wish my guy was as good as you. That's what they all say. They all say that. Don't worry. I I get that. I get that all the time. So there is another one of those rock trainers here. There you go. I'm off to see a Pokemon collector at the Cape. He's not too far away, he's only over there. He's only a few steps. Um, okay. This guy's got Geodudes. Alright. Let's get that experience, let's evolve. Uh, let's evolve Bulbasaur. And, uh... Let's 
let's just get yeah I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna evolve it to Venusaur like I'm not gonna go all that way I'll sort of do it in my own time like I said I'm not gonna be training Pokemon this is just a straight up like quick playthrough uh, with the necessary team but I will be fighting everybody uh, but just just going for the necessary team like the team of six and that's it like I might have a couple of HM slaves just in case I need them. Um, who's Machop? I'll send in my Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto I'm gonna get rid of soon as well. I'll get um I'll get like a HM slave to uh do the flying. Cause I don't know if Charizard can learn fly in this, and I'm certainly not gonna waste a move waste a move slot for flight for Pidgeotto, so um, yeah, I think, I'm not sure if I can get the far-fetched in this one. I think you can get, you can get the far-fetched, like if you trade in Vermilion City. I'll, um, I'll, I don't know, I'll think of something. There you go, Bulbasaur is level 16, so it should evolve now. You got me. Sure did. Bulbasaur is evolving. Hooray. And we've got another Pokemon now. It's an Ivysaur, and I'm never going to use you again. So that's it, you're done. I'll just leave it there. I need to get, Venonat needs to get some experience. Tackle, Disable, and Supersonic. Uh, hmm. All right. I'll think of something, I'll think of a way to do it. I'm a cool guy, I've got a girlfriend. Um, I got something to tell you, mate. <sighs> Your girl has might have the hots for another guy. Didn't hear it from me. Don't know who he is. But hey, I'm just hearing. I'm just telling. I'm just saying what I heard through the grapevine. You and but don't remember. You never heard it from me. All right? Don't 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 bring it up. Like try. Just keep your head, just, you know, keep your wits about you, watch your back, you know. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Charmander's level 14. Alright, what else you got? An Ekans. Okay. We'll give Ivysaur a go. See how well he does. With Ember. Why didn't they colour that? I think they would have called that uh, orange, the ember attack. Yeah. Well, it doesn't seem to be attacking me, so this might be alright. Well, there you go. He got a little bit of experience himself. Oh, done. Oh, well, my girl will chill me up. Yeah. Like I said, you didn't hear it from me, but I don't know. You're not all that cracked up. You're not all that cracked up, you know. All that you cracked up to be, to be honest. That's what I'm hearing. What is TM19, by the way? It's Seismic Toss. I will not be using it. Or at least not for now. I'll hang on to it. The other, and... So that's another team I've got to hang on to. I knew I had to fight you. Did you just... Were you watching all those battles and just... Becoming slightly more and more afraid each time? Because that's what it sounds like to me. Oh, I might uh, give Charmander another go in this one, actually. <sighs> this is the third episode I've recorded today. Which is probably the most productive I've, I've been in a while, a long time. Uh, now i just got to sit through and edit it all. That's the annoying bit. Sit through it, edit it. Edit another one, wait for that to finish. And Ekans was burn, her okay, it should be dead now. There we go. Are you gonna go to level 15? Yes he is. Nice. And he learned Leah. And he's got a Sandshrew. I'm gonna to switch to 
Um, you know what, I'm gonna give Ivysaur this battle, seeing as it's a ground type. Excuse me. Nearly chucked. <coughs> I nearly chucked me on vomit there. And that was a lot. I you. I would watch out for that. Except Bon Scott died. Bon Scott from ACDC. He died. He chucked him on his own vomit. Too much. Too much. Too much of the drink. Um. Rest in peace. Uh. Oh shit! I don't have any potions left. All right. No, no worries. I think this one's got some grass types. My friend is a cute Pokemon, I'm so jealous. I got a cute Pokemon, you're jealous of me? I got a Pikachu. You got a you got an Oddish. Why are you jealous of a cute Pokemon? Oddish is Oddish is cute. It is in the anime anyway. That just looks creepy. But in the anime it's adorable. <laughs> Good Pokemon though. Better grass type than Bulbasaur is. Like it's got better moves. Uh, but I'm not going to be catching one. Uh, Pidgey. All right, I'll switch out to Pika for this one just to finish it off. One hit KO with the Thunder Shock. Ah. Uh, I got my reckon after this episode I'm gonna be done for the day. Getting a, bit, getting a bit tired. It's only, what, 6.30. But, you know. I mean, the other episodes I was rambling on. But this one, I'm just, you know. Just taking it easy. Being a bit more chilled. And I am visibly tired. <laughs> uh, got some uh, Christmas decorations today. Mum went out and bought me a star. And some, uh, some Christmas ornaments for... Um, my future Christmas tree for when I move out. Um, I'm going to be getting a black tree. Um, and it's got, basically I've got like all fluoro color uh, uh, Christmas ornaments. So it's basically going to be like your oranges, your greens, your blues. Like basically all fluoro colors. That's what it's going to look like. Oh, Pikachu. Just a bit confused. What's up, Pikachu? Who's this guy? Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. Help me. What were you trying to do? Are you trying to... Is this like... Like in the anime. He's like in a Kabuto suit or something. He's like a giant Kabuto costume. And he's like... I'm thinking to myself, this guy has some sort of weird Pokemon fetish. I don't know what it is. He likes to get inside Pokemon. I don't know. Oh wow. That took Pikachu by surprise. Yaha! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't. That's a book. What are you do It doesn't even give you the option. I would have loved to see his Pokemon. I would have loved to see the Pokemon collection. That would have been sick. Look, I imagine all the stuff I'm, I'd get in my Pokedex. Don't you think that? No. Oh, why don't you go instead? So basically, all he said, I just skipped all that because I was complaining. Um, Pikachu's still a bit spaced out. He's still a bit confused. But um, basically, he gave us a ticket to go on the SSN cruise ship in Vermilion City because, you know, they gave it to him and he doesn't like going to fancy, uh, fancy dues. So, I'm now going to be going to this, this extravagant cruise ship party in his place, which, you know, never been on a cruise. I've studied a lot of cr about cruises this year, studying tourism, travel and all that. So, so much about cruises this year. It's this big thing. A project, one of the last assignments I did before I, you know, before I voluntarily took the hit to fail, as I discussed in one of my pre previous episodes, which you should be, which you should have watched, by the way. If you haven't, go back and watch it now. Give me presents. Be nice. Um, a lot about cruises. We had to do this big, uh, like a, 
they call it an operational plant, so it's basically like you're the company in charge of running the tourist thing, and you basically got to plan everything out, so like the, the entire operation has to be planned out from scratch. Not so much like sort of like a timetable, but more of how it's going to be done, what needs to be uh, what needs to be uh, employed, like who needs to be employed, what needs what resources need to be used, and all that sort of thing. And it was about a cruise ship, one of the Italian cruise ships that came in. But that's just my life. See you, Ivysaur. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that for now, because I'm going to be getting a Pokemon soon anyway. Um, so I'll leave it like that. And did I? I think I just healed. Yeah, I just did. Oh, right, yeah, I've got a couple of items to sell as well. So let's go to the Pokemon first off before we uh, before we go. And then uh, we'll be on our way. Let's sell some things. Um, TM, what was it? TM19. No, hang on to that. TM45 is the one I don't need. That's Thunder Wave. No, don't sell the Pokeballs. Uh, the Nugget. Sell that. And let's buy a couple of things. Uh, let's buy some Pokeballs. Get about 15. Don't need potions because we're going to be getting super potions soon. I uh, might buy a couple more antidotes by 10. Uh, repels, we don't need. Escape rope, we don't need. Burn heal, awakening, paralyze heal, we don't need. So let's just go. Get everything we need. We're going to be coming back here in a bit anyway, but uh, but yeah, that's all we need for now. Let's go. This is the only way out of town for now. Hi, hey, Officer Jenny. These poor people here were robbed. We're positive that Team Rocket is behind this terrible deed. Even our police force is trouble with the rockets. Um, have you ever tried looking behind the house? I don't know. I got some. I got a sinking suspicion that uh, you, know, you might want to check the back of the house. I don't know. Just it's just a suggestion. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. <laughs> oh, funny. Those miserable rockets, look what they did here. They stole the TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle, it did. Yeah, um, there's a giant hole here. And like I said to the police, oh, Officer Jenny outside, I don't know, but have you ever tried looking outside, like looking into your backyard? You, I don't know, just a suggestion. Look, I'll do it for you. Oh, oh no, it's a, it's a Team Rocket guy. I mean, he's an innocent bystander. No, you're not. It's just some innocent bystander wearing all black with a giant R on his chest. That's not suspicious at all. Ugh, but we're gonna kick his ass anyway. Whatever, whoever he is, we're just gonna, you know, kick his ass anyway because he's challenged us to a fight. And what do we do? What do you do when someone challenges you to a, challenges you to a fight? You beat the shit out of them. Don't take that as actual advice. By the way, kids, if someone challenges you to a fight, just walk away. Okay, fighting's bad. Fighting's only good in a ring. In a, in a square ring, or a hexagon ring, or an octagon. Fighting's only good inside a... In, in a closed environment. Where people are watching you and cheering. That's fighting. Make love, not war. Actually, don't listen to that advice either, kids. Um, you're still a bit too young. You might still be a bit too young. Just, just, just forget everything I said for the last couple of minutes, all right? Just, um, uh, just pay attention to the Pokemon. Uh, the Pokemon, yeah, the Pokemon fight, yeah, that thing. Uh, Pikachu, yeah, look, it's Pikachu. How cute is he? Yeah, yeah, it's adorable. Okay. Uh, oh no, don't send him to slay. <laughs> I don't want to go back. All right, um. Send it around. Oh, this could be a big mistake. As long as I get the first hit in, I'm fine. Because he's going to use confusion. And that's going to happen. Well, thankfully, I've got the next move in. Okay. Yeah. Stop, I give up. I'll live quietly. And Charmy is evolving. Yay. That was quick. They evolve pretty quickly. Like they can experience real quick. But once they get to Charmander, 
once he gets to the second stage, uh, oh, pardon me. Once you get to the second stage, that's it. Okay, I'll return to TM, I stole. Yeah, we got TM28, which is dig. I'm gonna get moving, bye. What, you're just gonna let him go? Oi, Officer Jenny, you just let him go. He's escaped. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diggler how to dig without it. I've got the TM right here. I've got the TM in my bag. I'll give it to you. Dude. What is your problem? Team Rocket must be trying to do Yeah, shut up. Oi, bitch. Yeah. Team Rocket's behind the D. You, and you just let him get away. I've got the TM back. The guy won't even take it. It's basically, what's it called? Civil. It's basically turned into a case of civil forfeiture. That's what it is. I've. Yeah. That's very. That's corruption. Oh, I know Pikachu's. I know Pikachu's asleep. Say he's asleep and yet he's somehow still walking. See how cute he looks when he sleeps. Little bubbles. I can get that. Oh, those are the bubbles. Anyway, we don't. And he's still. He's still walking. He's still. You know. Having fun. But he's asleep. Is he sleepwalking? Yeah, he doesn't look to be sleepwalking. Uh, I don't know. Oh, do you have Cubone? I want to trade it from Chuck? No. Uh, oh. That might actually be a decent trade. Because I believe... Stay right there, uh, little girl. If I can somehow find a Cubone, I might come back to you and I might take you up on your offer. Because I believe as soon as it gets traded to me, it will evolve. Yeah, people, I'm not going to bother looking for stuff in the underground path. It's a waste of time. Uh, even if you have an item finder, it's still a waste of time. Hey, guy. Uh, there aren't many bugs out here. I know a place you can go. You might have to climb over some ledges, though, because it's pretty hard otherwise. Pretty hard to get back otherwise. Come on, Shot Million. Let's just one-shot these dudes with your ember. Ah, oh, too easy. A little more experience for Charmeleon now. Perfect for the, for the fourth gym. Perfect. Super effective. All right, and uh, Weedle's next. Done. Oh, I just got a message on my phone from Cricket Australia. Uh, if you're an Australian and you love your cricket and you're an Optus customer, this is me doing a bit of non-sponsored uh, advertising. Get the get the pass, get the live pass. It's free. It's awesome. You get cricket on your phone and all that sort of thing. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just really like it. I'm doing this out of love. Leave me alone. What are you doing? You're talking, you're, looks like you're talking to each other near a lake. Are you making out or? Because if you're making out, I can go away. Ooh, Weeping Bell. That'd be a sick experience for Charmeleon. Plus, it will be a bit of practice for the, gy for the gym. The, not this gym, the gym after. Oh god. Foreshadowing the Pokemon that are to come for this Charmeleon. Done. How many experience did I get out of that? 517. Yeah. I thought it was going to grow a level. No, this can't be. So my love will never leave, will leave me in disgust. I'm training for my love. Don't bother me. You're not training. You're not even in grass. Go into the grass. Find some wild Pokemon. That will do you. What have you got? A Q or Cubo? Oh, I finally I could catch it. Finally, I could catch it. There's a little girl on the other side of the underground pass that has a. Oh shit! I got nothing that's good against them. I got nothing that's good against ground types. That's what you get for putting your ivy store away. Uh, is it? Can I fight it? No. No, fighting types won't work on it. Let's try horn attack. One tax should do something, right? I mean, Cubone's not as defensive. Uh, looks like I'm just gonna have to just grind at it. 
till it dies. Poor Cubone. One of the saddest Pokemon ever. It's wearing the skull of its dead mother. What's- I wonder what it looks like inside. No, don't use poison sting! Ah, oh. Ah. Oh. See if you duh. See if it dies. You get no experience. See? It's gonna- Oh. Oh, well Charmeleon can get all the experience then. Because it's gonna die now anyway. Oh. No, it's not. Charmeleon's gonna kill it. Oh well. Gets all the experience. And it goes to level 18. Nice. My textbook never... Never what? Now I understand. Poker knows it about calculated numbers. Wait, I thought you said you were, tr you were training for your for your boyfriend. Now you're just talking about fucking maths? I've never seen you around. Are you good? Eh, I'm alright. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but... Women, you know, fall for me. Like... I'm just saying. Like, women in relationships fall for me. If they're in relationships, I basically, I, you know, I convince them somehow that I'm a better guy. That their, 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 their boyfriend's a dick. Oh, this Butterfree is the worst, because all it has, it's got supersonic, sleep powder, stun spore, and poison powder. That's all it's got. It doesn't have any attacks, so it's not going to attack you. It only, like, inflicts status on you. So it basically goads you when you're attacking yourself. And that's it. And it sucks, because he puts Supersonic and Stun Spur on me. So even if I'm not confused, I can still be par fully paralyzed, which means I won't be able to attack anyway. See? See what it does? And now it's applied Supersonic again. Please, get a hit in. Yes, thank you. That's all I needed, just one hit. It gives you a shit ton of experience, and it's great for leveling up. Especially in the remakes, considering you can fight trainers again and again, it's perfect. This trainer in particular is perfect for rematching. But it's just really, uh, it's an annoying Pokemon to beat. I'm gonna switch you out. I'm gonna put Venonat first, because Venonat hasn't even fought in a battle yet. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. That's not your boyfriend standing next to you, is it? Okay. I think this one's just got all Pidgeys. And it's got Pidgeotto at the end or something. Oh fuck, I forgot he's asleep. Um, shit. That was a complete waste of time. Alright Chameleon, it's up, up to you. And I don't have any Paralyzed Heals. What was I saying? I don't need all these items. I said that, I literally said that about 10 minutes ago, didn't I? And now, and now I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get fucking killed now, because I've got... Uh... See? This is what I mean. You don't think you need this shit, but then it all happens at once. And now I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna get a, I'm probably gonna get a game over, you watch. Uh, I'll have to keep using Pikachu until it, until it wakes up. I could have just done that before, but... Oh, for God's sake, I'm not, I don't want to use the SS ticket. Oh, why am I trying to catch it? I don't have any potions. Shit! Everything's just going wrong. I'm gonna... I'm gonna turbo. Wait. I'm gonna turbo until it wakes up. Please wake up, Pikachu. Please wake up. Okay, it's woken up. Can you use, please use Thunder... No! No! Fuck. Oh, this is terrible. I've got nothing left. Pidgeotto, it's, your, it's up to you, man. It's all up to you, Pidgeotto. Even, I won't, I won't even be able to fight the next guy. I'll have to go back and heal up before I fight the next guy. And it's, it's, it's already gone over 30, it's nearly 35 minutes in. And I've got nothing. This is the worst. I really should have bought a bunch, wait, didn't I buy potions? No, because I thought I, because I said I, I was going to get super potions in the next town. I'm an idiot. And now I'm gonna, now I'm regretting the decisions I've made. I'm probably gonna end up whiting out now, and I'm probably gonna have to go back to, uh, to Cerulean. Uh, please, just kill this thing already. I'll... Oh, 
fuck. Now I'm, now I'm done for. I'm pretty much done for, you guys. I'm gonna die. It's gonna use Gust and I'm gonna die. And all I've got now is Venonat. And Venonat doesn't know shit except for Tackle. Come on Venonat, it's all up to you. Disable, you- oh. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Use Disable. And it failed. Of course it failed. Because nothing's worked out in this battle for me, has it? Yes. Please. No! No! Disable Tackle! Gust, you dickhead! What the fuck? Oh, this is ridiculous. Now it's gonna kill me. And that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Please use sand attack. No, that's it. Well, the first wide out of this game to a level 16 Pidgey. That's what happens when you don't buy fucking items, ladies and gentlemen. And Pikachu's probably gonna be pissed off at me. Yeah, Pikachu doesn't give a shit. See, that's what happens when you're a dickhead like me and you don't buy items. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. Um, make sure to give this video a like, share it around with your mates, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go back and watch some of my other videos. <coughs> I've been talking way too much. I need to rest my I need to rest my voice. Otherwise, I'm gonna start coughing like a madman. Anyway, like I was saying, like, share, subscribe, socials, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, we can get through to the next town without any hassles. DYAT. Fucking peace. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.